Today I am going to be reviewing a little bit about number forms and how numbers are built using the place value system based on the number 10. So first we're going to take this number, 1,642. And I'm just going to show you a couple different ways that we can build it. So starting with our golden beads, the first thing we are going to do is start by building the two. So I have two single beads in the units section. Sometimes people will refer to it as ones because they are single ones all by themselves. So that is representing the number two. Now in the tens place, I am going to be representing the quantity 40. And that is because I have four tens and I am representing 40 because that is four tens. When I come to the hundreds place, this is where I am representing 600. And that is because I am counting in hundreds. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And here I have six hundreds. Now when I come to the last of this number, I have the thousands. And that is because I am counting in the thousand cubes. So I have two, 40, 600, 1,000. That is one way to represent this number using the golden beads. But I can also represent this number using simply a number, a digit in that place value. So here I have two, where it shows me that I am two in the units place. To represent 40, I simply need to put four in the tens place. And I know that that represents four of these golden bead tens. In this place value in the 100s, I just need to know how many hundreds there are. And there are in fact six. So I will get out my six in the hundreds place to tell me that that's what it represents. And here I only have one thousands cube and that means I only need one little tiny bead to represent the thousand. So this is another way that I can represent my numbers using place value. This shows me that there are two units, four tens, six hundreds, and one thousand. Each one of these gets 10 times bigger. And so where this number is in the placement makes a very, very big difference because 1,000 is still way more than a simple little two. The number one might not be very big, but it's what it represents, 1,000 beads compared to just two units. So when I have my number all spread out like this, we refer to that as expanded notation because I have expanded the number. And this number is made of 1,000 plus 600 plus 40 plus two. So when it is in expanded form, I have expanded the numbers so that you see each place value with all of its zeros. When I put this back together to make standard form, I am going to layer them over, one over the next over the next, and that is how I end up with my final number. And here you can see it all put back together again, 1,600. 42.